Hi my beautiful Aries and welcome to La Ebony Tarot. Um, thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal or information on how to do so is in the description box below. So guys, today I'm going to be doing a How Do They Feel About You reading, my Baby Your BS series. This is basically to find out how someone is feeling about you, how they're viewing you and what they want to say to you that they're currently not saying. Okay, this is going to be a brief love reading. For in-depth love readings, you can head over to my other channel, which is in my description box. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it, my beautiful Aries. Let's see where this is going. So, how's your person feeling about you? Now, remember the energies can go vice versa, so... I could be asking how they're feeling about you, but this could be how you're actually feeling about them. Switch the genders, switch the roles, you know what to do. Whatever you don't do is come at me in the comments, okay? So, this is for my beautiful Aries. So, how is your person feeling about you? This is timeless, so whenever you watch it, it's meant for you. Okay, I did just see bride, but it didn't fall on the table. So somebody could be seeing you as somebody who they want to commit to. I just saw romance as well. So, oh. Okay, that was two cards that wanted to come out. Separation and past. Some of you may be separated from your person. Can we just have one card, please? Okay, just as I said that. So, um, this... Somebody else got this. I think it was... Um, oh, I don't remember who it was, but somebody else got this separation card, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have past. Okay, so the same cards came out. The divine was like, I said what I said. So someone's feeling heartbroken. Okay, they're feeling hurt. They're feeling lost. I feel like somebody's missing you. Okay. Um, this definitely could be somebody from your past. Now, past could be last week, last month, two months ago, two years ago. This could just mean that somebody you had an actual past life connection with. Okay, or this person may remind you of somebody in the past. Somebody also could have like broken up with you for something they did in the past or for past events. Okay, somebody also could be reflecting on the past as well. But this is how somebody is feeling. They're feeling hurt. They're feeling heartbroken. Okay, they're feeling separate from you. Um, sorry, one second. I was eating. I'm like, did something go down my chest? Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Yeah, somebody kind of just, they feel heartbroken, they feel hurt, okay, so let's see where this is going, so how's someone viewing you right now, how's someone viewing you, wow, so you've got inspiration, someone else got this as well, I can't remember who it was, sorry people, but um, someone's viewing you as somebody who they're very much inspired by, okay, some of you could be like um, celebrities, or you could be dealing with somebody who's like an influencer, or somebody who kind of is um has an audience for work so you don't necessarily have to be online but you could be like a part of a big community or people just listen to you maybe you have like a high position in your job for some of you you could be very creative maybe you're performing artists of some kind okay or actual artists musicians or maybe you just have a heavy influence okay but this person views you as an inspiration okay so this could be how they're this is, could be why they're feeling so heartbroken because they actually kind of like come into the realization of how much you've inspired them. Maybe there's a lot of things that they've done in the past or they've changed so much from how they were in the past because of you. Okay, but this person sees you as somebody who's very pretty. I just heard very kind of like, um, I want to say flamboyant and um, floral. So some of you may like flowers. Okay, so I'm hearing something about sweet. Somebody also views you as very romantic as well okay um they may view you as their sweetheart okay they could be praying for you to come back or praying for some kind of communication okay or somebody sees that you are the answer to their prayers okay so what does this person want to say to you let's get a love message from your person what do they want to say to you That was quick. I want you to be mine forever. Okay. Oh, and I put on the deck. Did you put a spell on me? I can't get you out of my mind. So yeah, so someone can't stop thinking about you. Okay. Um, they love you. They want that's what they want to say to you that they're not saying that they want forever with you. They want to be yours forever. They want you to be theirs forever. So I feel like somebody doesn't want to be separate from you, okay? 
it's like you know these cards are very dark but you know the highlight is the red so i feel like someone has a lot of passion a lot of drive a lot of emotion for you or this could be you aries because you know you do rule the color red okay i hear something about ruby as well you're my ruby somebody could be called ruby or you could be thinking about getting somebody a ruby or maybe you have a ruby you also rule the gem stone ruby that is like the most powerful stone rubies are very expensive so yeah you could be thinking about getting somebody a gift maybe a ring or a pendant that has ruby in it to symbolize your love okay or maybe you're seeing somebody as a gem but um if this is not you this could be the other person but somebody wants you to be theirs forever okay they want forever with you they don't want to be separated with you so i feel like somebody's kind of like praying for you to come back or praying that a situation could be right they just can't shake you they can't get you off of their mind or vice versa okay somebody could feel like they're under some kind of spell but it's not a spell it's called love okay so how is this person feeling about you please clarify separation so yeah they've got um they've got we have the two of wealth here with the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck so somebody may have walked away from you okay maybe you kind of felt like you were being juggled okay but i feel like somebody's like um they're kind of in and out with their emotions but they're trying to stabilize their emotions okay they're trying to kind of get things right i feel like somebody thinks about you day and night time they're trying to see how they can manage themselves manage the separation maybe they're trying to kind of move on with other people but it's not happening maybe this ended because you kind of felt like you were like i said somebody was kind of juggling you with somebody else maybe you ask someone a direct question like oh can you show me something or can i know about something and they blocked you maybe that gave you all the answers you needed to know okay but i feel like somebody doesn't know how to manage without you so one day they're fine the next day they're not this could have been a situation where it's like a breakup and makeup situation but i feel like this time this person wants to do they want some sort of balance in the situation they want to make up with you because they can't let you go okay they can't let go of this love i'm hearing that the feeling is mutual also there could be kind of some, some distance between you guys maybe your, your night time is their day and their day is their night but um you may have felt kind of like you're on this different page but i feel like there will be balance restored in this situation or like i said somebody's trying to manage their thoughts they're trying to manage their emotions okay so they're going back and forth about whether or not they kind of want to speak to you or you know yeah but somebody's like broken hearted about the inconsistency within the relationship okay could be dealing with a capricorn if i didn't say that already so please clarify how, clarify how someone is viewing you so we've got the full card with the inspiration at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, we've got the nine of swords. So someone is really stressed out here. Okay, I feel like they've been haunted by their own thoughts. They're having sleepless nights. There's something this person did or they said that they're very anxious about. They're very stressed about. Could be dealing with Gemini. Could be dealing with uh, another Aries also. But it does not have to be. I want to say Aquarius as well. Okay. But um, yeah, somebody kind of sees you as somebody who they kind of want to take a risk with they want to have a new beginning with they kind of want to release things and let things go okay but they can kind of see that you're going off into your new beginning um you're kind of just doing things you know you're just going with the motions i'm hearing something about going with the flow but i feel like somebody kind of um yeah i feel like somebody doesn't really want i don't want to say they don't want you to be free but they don't want to be separate from you it gives this person anxiety to kind of just see you out there just you know alone or easy to obtain by people i just heard maybe somebody kind of sees you as quite naive and gullible so maybe they worry about you okay but i feel like somebody kind of wants to have you know a new beginning with you um maybe they view you as somebody who inspires them to kind of like release and let go of things that don't serve them you know or like i'm hearing something about refurbish or re refreshment so maybe like you're dealing with somebody who kind of like they're like out with the old in with the new or like yeah paint that or add color into your home or do this or do that like you may kind of i feel like somebody like you view somebody as like creatively free and that's how they make you feel okay so um or this is how someone is you know viewing you whatever so what does this person want to say to you that they're not saying Please clarify. Wow, the two of emotions. So the two of cups. And at the bottom of the deck, we have, wow, here's your energy, Aries. The two of passion, which is equivalent to the two of wands. So like I said, leaving something in the past 
focusing on what you want this person definitely could be at a distance from you you could see this person as your world or you have the world in your hands you're ready to decide what it is that you want i feel like you want this person i feel like you want to go back to your past or go back to past events yeah underneath that we do have commitment so i feel like you're realizing that this person is a good decision because this is your overall energy or somebody wants to you know they want to come back to you okay because yeah somebody wants you to be theirs forever so that's what i'm hearing like i will forever love you i'll always love you this love is eternal but this is what this person wants to say to you that they're not saying that i love you like i need you i miss you i want you like let's be together let's let's make this work two 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 is very significant here because we've got the two of pentacles the two of ones and then the two of cups so you are somebody's two two four six that's venus soulmate card so you may be seeing a lot of synchronicities but i'm hearing it's just me and you or no one loves me the way that i do or I, the love was made for each other so yeah i'm hearing me and you so that's really cute so that's very quick and straightforward so let's see if this person has any kinky thoughts about you or if there's anything that we can get from this kinky dice to kind of solidify the reading so we have head and tickle, okay? So I'm hearing something about laughter with the tickle, okay? Sorry, can you see that, guys? Head and tickle. Somebody may want to give you head, okay? Um, They may be thinking about the last time you gave them head or how it tasted or how you taste like. Also, I feel like, like I said, you're in somebody's head. So somebody can't get you off of their mind. You do rule the head as well, Aries. So you may be, kind, you may be the one that's thinking this way about this person, okay or you kind of get in your mind right you know exactly what it is that you want to do you know that you want to go after this person or you're making a good decision okay so i kind of feel like you know the separation maybe you decided to separate yourself from somebody and you you're just like nah that's not really going to work out you know let me just decide to kind of move forward and you could be praying that it's going to go your way okay yeah but um yeah somebody kind of wants to talk to you or somebody kind of like they could be trying to send you telepathic um you know communication but with the tickle as well i feel like somebody kind of wants to just touch you and just you know bring bring light-hearted energy to the situation so that is your reading if you would like a full in-depth love reading you can head over to my love channel where i specifically do love readings on there that's a lot longer okay but that was it aries take care toodles